Hi, I'm Keith Burley, creator of the Reef Aquarium DVD and Reef Aquarium TV. In this video, I will be telling you about the Biotech Marine BTM 3000 PAR sensor. This is an exciting new product, which is the result of collaboration between Biotech Marine and Apogee Instruments. A PAR sensor measures photosynthetically active radiation, or the spectral range of solar radiation from 400 to 700 nanometers that photosynthetic organisms are able to use in the process of photosynthesis. In other words, it tells you whether you're getting a sufficient amount of light to your corals and reef life to allow them to grow to their maximum potential. There are close to 93,000 different named coral species, and the majority of the known species are autotrophic, meaning they process inorganic molecules through light energy to create a food source which allows them to live and thrive. Different species of coral have adapted to different depths in the ocean, and thus they have adapted to different light intensities. Some species of coral do better at higher intensities, while other species do better at lower light levels. Light levels changes as you move away from the center of the light source, both vertically in depth and horizontally in distance. By accurately measuring PAR readings up to 3,000 micromoles, the BTM 3000 will allow any reef keeper to optimally place corals in their tank and take full advantage of the unique geography and features which cause light spatial variations. If a particular coral seems to be bleaching, you will be able to locate another spot in the tank that is slightly more or less light and measure how the coral reacts. Preventing loss of your valuable corals and watching them grow will make your purchase of a BTM 3000 PAR sensor one of your best investments ever. One thing that sets the BTM 3000 PAR sensor apart from the more expensive PAR meters is that there is no separate body containing a digital meter and readout. It is simply the patented PAR sensor attached to a USB cable. This is the source of the economy, versatility, and absence of extraneous parts which can wear out and require costly replacement. The setup of the Biotech Marine 3000 requires a computer, either a laptop or a desktop. But if it's a desktop, it has to be close enough so the 15-foot USB cable can reach. Start by directing your browser to biotechmarine.com. Next, go to Products menu, and you will be able to locate Biotech Marine BTM 3000. From there, you will see links which will allow you to download the software to your PC or Mac. Save this software to your computer, and from the software, create an icon for your application on your desktop. Open up the Biotech 3000 application and plug in the USB. Remove the cap from the light sensor, and you will instantly begin to see PAR readings. To demonstrate, I'm going to use this flashlight to show you how the meter works with the proximity of light. The brighter the light, the higher the PAR value. Now, here's what sets the Biotech 3000 apart from many of the other light meters on the market. You can obtain and store readings on how much PAR is present in a particular area of your tank over the course of a time period which you designate. Perhaps you would like to see how your corals would react to a few more hours of metal halide lights in a day. Well, the Biotech 3000 will create a record for you by measuring and saving a running list of your PAR values. You will find the Actions tab on the bottom left in the PC version and the top left in the Mac version of the software. The Actions drop-down menu will show Data Logging, Options, and Calibrations. It is not advisable to calibrate your PAR sensor initially, as your Biotech 3000 is calibrated right when it leaves the factory. The options listed are electric or natural, depending upon whether your tank uses natural sunlight or artificial electric light. Most tanks will have electric light, so this is set as the factory default. Click on data logging and another window will pop up. I personally prefer to create a file in my documents folder called Biotech 3000. This makes it easy for me to identify where my data is stored. Before you place the sensor in your tank, if you purchase the 33-inch wand, just connect the sensor head to the wand. The wand end has two sides, and the flathead screw is made to go into the wider side of the hole. Another nice feature about the wand is that you could angle the light sensor the way you'd like, and it will stay there. Place the sensor at any location in your tank. Select Browse, and choose where you want your data to go. You can tell the system to record seconds, 
minutes, hours, or days. The Biotech 3000 will take readings for the total amount of time that you command it. Select Start and you will see the data start to accumulate. Here is a card where I will cut out some of the light to change the readings for the demo. If you need to use the computer that is taking the reading, just reduce the Biotech application window and the app will continue to work in the background. The Mac version of the software will display a status window on the computer while you're using the computer for other tasks. To retrieve your data, just go into the file you created and open up the file to see the readings. The Excel or spreadsheet numbers will give you the time, date, type of lighting, and your PAR values. Here you can see where I started with the card out, then put the card in, resulting in lower readings than before. The data obtained over time will give you the ability to accurately adjust lighting intensity to achieve optimum PAR values. It is known that LED lights dim over time. Let's say you're running your white LED lights at 30% and your blue LED lights at 80% on a new fixture. Over time, the LED diodes will decrease in intensity. Even though your fixtures continue to run at 30 and 80% respectively, over time your light intensity is decreasing, resulting in less than optimal PAR values for your livestock. The BTM3000 PAR sensor helps by providing an accurate measurement in this decrease in intensity over time. Simply place the PAR sensor up against the glass and measure or note the locations where you plan to take the reading each time. Record the readings and then take another reading every three months or so to see how your LED lights are performing over time. As your PAR value decreases, simply adjust the LED lighting percentage accordingly to achieve and maintain your original PAR intensity. If you have any questions about the Biotech Marine 3000 or would like to order one, you could call us at 803-788-4445 or visit us at www.biotechmarine.com and click on our dealer locator tab to find a supplier near you.